I want to say call hello Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And this is Sakari Dallas. And we're out here in Waco, Texas, about to start doing this work, passing out some flyers. We're in the landing apartments right now. We're trying to see if anybody wants to wake up and learn the truth and learn who they actually are, man. So we can get people to, to bear fruit so we can have something established in Sakari in Waco, man. So we can rise up in the uh, in central Texas, man. And with that, we're about to get started. We're gonna break up into two teams, and we're gonna see we're gonna see who's about this work, man. Okay. So let's go. How's it going, sir? Uh, how's it going? We're here. We're out here to a lot of people know the black Spanish and Native Americans, but they're the true Israelites according to the Bible. And we're trying to tell our people we have to keep the commandments. Can I show you something in the Bible real fast? Give me Deuteronomy 20 verse 68. Because a lot of these, I'll say it like this, like a lot of these churches, they won't they won't go directly into the scriptures and tell you who you are. You just you're a Gentile, you're just whoever God says you are. But God told the black Hispanics and Native Americans that they are his true children. And we have a duty to do. But first, I want to show you this real fast. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt mm -hmm. again with ships with ships to bring you into Egypt again with ships the word Egypt there means bondage what happened to the, the Israelites who were in Egypt they were slaves to the Egyptians so we read that again and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships with ships now the Israelites walked out of Egypt last time so you don't need to take a ship to go there so this is talking about another Egypt right yeah. so what does that sound like that sounds like the transatlantic slave trade, doesn't it? Right. How we got over here, like on slave ships. Go ahead. By the way, whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Now, when we got here off them slave ships, what happened to us? We were sold. We were sold, just like how it's said in the Bible. Go ahead. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And bond women. So, who does this sound like? <laughs> that, who does that sound like, sis? I mean, <laughs> what, the person who wrote the book? No, I mean, like, because Moses, Moses had this prophecy written, like, thousands of years ago. But you evidently can see this here with the so-called Black and Hispanic and Native American men. Right. Clearly. Like and that, what, is, what, is the, what is the verse again? Deuteronomy chapter 28, oh, Deuteronomy, verse yeah, yeah. 68. Okay. It's a, it's, a, oh, shoot. <laughs> it's a laundry list of curses. <laughs> It's a laundry list of curses that will happen to the true Israelites. Now, you see, when you read these, you can evidently see that it's talking about us. Because watch this. Get, get uh, tender among you. 54. Yeah, 54. Verse 54. I want to show you something. Like, when you see when, when you see other black people, don't they just mean mug you for no reason? Pretty much. Watch this. Watch this. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Well, another one of the curses. Go ahead. So that the man that is tender among you mm -hmm. and very delicate... Mm -hmm. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Does that happen mm -hmm. to us? Isn't that already us? Yeah. Well, if, if we're not these people, if we're not these people, why do we fit these curses so good? Keep going. And toward the wife of his bosom. Yeah, the wife and toward the wife of his, his bosom. Like there's, you have like uh, people who have issues with their wives and wives have issues with their husbands. Mm -hmm. Like the stress in the marital situation. Right. Go ahead. And towards the remnant of his children. Yeah, well, they shall what? Which he shall leave. That he shall leave. Who do we see? Who do we see leaving their, their kids? Always black men. So who, who is this talking about? Us. It's us. <laughs> this Bible, these scriptures, Deuteronomy 28, the whole Bible really yeah. is talking about us. Right. And that's what we're trying to come out here and tell our people. Because since this applies to us, there's something we have to do. Show, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Right. Uh, not 28, uh, 10. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. It says, I don't, I don't know if you're busy. I just want to give you, can I give you two more verses? Okay. No, I don't know if you're busy. Just give me that one. It says, and now, Israel. No, Israelites, since we're this, these people, go ahead. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So what does the Lord God require of us? Like, well, what do we need to do as his chosen people? Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to walk in all his ways, mm -hmm. and to love him. And to love him, go ahead. And to serve the Lord thy God. And it's going to tell you how to love him and how to fear him, go ahead. With all thy heart mm -hmm. and with all thy soul. Yes, go ahead. To keep the commandments of the Lord. We have to keep his commandments. Right. 
That's what we do. That's how we love the Most High God. There's nothing else we can do to show that we love the Most High. We can't send him an edible arrangement up to heaven. Right. We have to show him by our works that we love him. Right. Go ahead. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. for thy good. For our good. Because look, look at us now. Nobody cares about us. Everybody thinks we're just, we're just, I'll just say it like this. Everybody just thinks we're niggas. We're, we're no good people. But they'll love to see us play basketball. Yeah. And they'll love to see us play, play football. football. They'll make they'll make sport of us. But, like, as a people, they look down on us. Yeah. You can do it around me four verse, uh, uh, four verse five. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter four, verse five. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. So the most I got taught us statutes and judgments. Going to the commandments we have to keep to show that we love him and fear him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, mm -hmm. that you should do so in the land where that you go to possess. So where we go and possess, this basically saying wherever we go, we have to keep these commandments. Go ahead. Right. Keep therefore and do them. Mm -hmm. For this is your wisdom. It's our wisdom. And your understanding. Yeah, no, we, we look at our people. Do you think we're wise and understanding people? No, because we don't keep these commandments. Go ahead. In the sight of the nations. In the sight of everybody else outside of us. Go ahead. Which shall hear all these statutes mm -hmm. and say... Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. No, so if we kept those commandments, everybody else, like the all the other nations will look at us and be like, look, we're a wise and understanding people. Look at those right. people. They know how to treat each other. They know how to love their God. They do what they're supposed to do. They're not, they're like, they wouldn't look at us as criminals anymore. Or right. well, if all we had to do is keep these commandments, that's literally all we have to do. Now give me one, can I get you just one more, one more, and I'll be done. All right. Uh, let me Ecclesiastes 12, 12 yeah. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Because this is our whole goal out here. We need to tell our people who they are because we, because African American, black, black is a color. African American is literally two continents. When you have, when you have so called white people in Africa, they don't even, they don't call them African Americans. Then when they come over here, they just call them white people. We have made up, made up uh, names that we call ourselves. Everybody else can go back and say we descend from these people and these people, but we descend from a color. Right. Oh, see. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta win. Get my thing. I gotta put it up here so it pulls the thing. Okay. But yeah, I got one I got one more for you. This is Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. Mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So you ever wonder what the uh, what your purpose in life is? This is what this is the most I got saying this is your, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. This is this is your whole purpose in life. Go ahead. Fear God. Fear him. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Go ahead. For this is the whole duty of man. So that's your whole duty on, like on, on this planet Earth. You have right. to keep these commandments and do what you're supposed to do. Go ahead. For God shall bring every work into judgment. So if he, he sees you and all, all the stuff you do contrary to his to his law, such commandments, he sees it and he's going to bring it into judgment. Go ahead. With every secret thing. Every secret, every secret thing. The things people, you know, like how somebody says, like, what's done in the dark comes to the light. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen when you sit, when you, when you come before the judgment seat of God. That's what's going to happen. Go ahead. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. And we want our people to have good works so the Most High God can establish us again. Yeah. So that's what we need to do, sis. So uh, can we get you a flyer real yeah, quick? Nice. And thank you for listening because a lot of our people mm -hmm. can't just give us five minutes and just hear, just oh, yeah. hear us out. I listen. <laughs> Yes. Relationship with the Lord and everything. It's got our, it's got our uh, YouTube information. It's got a little bit of information, like what we're saying. And these are our people who are in the Western Hemisphere. And it's got the Most High God's name in Hebrew right here, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Like they, you know, they have the name Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus Jesus wasn't His literal name. Like you go, He had, a, He was a Hebrew, so He had a Hebrew name. Yeah. So this is how you, were, this is how you would say it, Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. and Yahweh. Like instead of Lord, you know how you see Lord in the Bible. It's Yahweh. Right there. Say go, ahead, go ahead. Sister, and we're not trying to change your relationship with the Lord. We're just mm -hmm. trying to improve it, right? Yeah, right. that's all we come in, here to do. In a relationship, it consists of knowing the person, right? right. That you're in a relationship, right? right? This is what it says about knowing the Lord. In First John, and this is chapter 2, yeah. and verse 3. That's important. And hereby we do know that we know him mm -hmm. if we keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So what we're trying to do is perfect our people so they know the Lord. Right. Like you, you know the Lord when you are in these scriptures and you do what it says. That's the that's the whole purpose. That's really the whole purpose of us being out here to get our people to do what the Lord tells tells them to do, not like what these pastors tell them to do because they say you can do whatever you want. Or you come as you are, stay as you are. So we're trying to help our people mm -hmm. and bring bring them out of this.
So with Thank that, you. sis. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do my fire plugs on my collar. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get out of here. We're gonna get out of here. But yeah, check out that fire when you get a chance, sis. Oh, yeah. We got our YouTubes, our numbers, and everything. Okay. And I guess we are here to change it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna improve. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All right. right. Thank Have you, a blessed day. Well, All praise to the Most High God. All praise to the Most High God. Get somebody to listen. Oh, to the right. To the right. Oh, okay, okay. You see me? Hey, brother. He's coming on the left side. He's coming on the left side. He's right there. Yes. Hey, brother, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. Hey, man, uh, do you know who you are according to the Bible? Have you ever heard of the Israelites before? What do you think about that? I really don't know too much. I just heard about it. Can I show you something real quick? Sure, why not? Let's get Deuteronomy 20. 20 no, actually, no. Let me get Isaiah. 42, 22. 42, right? I want to show you something real fast. Because the Bible describes what will happen to God's chosen people. And let's just see who it applies to. I'm just going to show you this. I'm going to show you this one right now. And I just want you to tell me who this applies to. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 42 and 22. Mm -hmm. But this is a people... Robbed and spoiled. Now, when you say we're robbed and spoiled, when you say people take from us and don't don't do anything for us, and continue to to uh, I guess you can say like extort over police, it. extort us, yeah, over police, capitalize, us, capitalize mm -hmm. on us. Will you say that? Go ahead. They are all of them snared in holes. They're all snared in holes. You know what a snare is? Mm -hmm. A snare is what you call a trap, right? Now, where, what do all the rappers say they what say they're at? The trap. They're in a the trap. <laughs> Go ahead. And they are hid in prison houses. They're what? They are hid in prison houses. Now, who's, who fills up the prison houses? Rappers. I mean, who, but what's their nationality? Black. And who else? Hispanics. Hispanic. Yeah, we, so who does this apply to? Us. That's talking about us. Go ahead. They are for a prey and none delivers. Yeah, nobody delivers. Go ahead. For a spoil and none saith restore. So no, has anybody tried to help, like it says none restore, has anybody tried to put, like give us our 40 acres in a, in a mule? Has he ever done that for us? Oh, no. Sure. Who does that apply to still? What? Me. Us. Yes, sir. We are these people, my brother. Yes, sir. Let me show you something else. Give me Deuteronomy 20, verse 68 now. You know what? Deuteronomy 28, verse 66. I was just about to say, get 66. 66, yeah, let's try that. Mm. Uh, Let's try that. This is Deuteronomy 28, and verse 66. Now, have you ever, you drive at all? No, sir. Have you ever been in a car with somebody, uh, have you ever been in a car and somebody pull you all over? How do you feel like that? Nervous. You feel nervous, why? Because I'm black. Yeah, and what they do to black people? <laughs> they shoot them. They shoot them, so you're scared for your life, right? Yes, sir. Watch this. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Mm-hmm. Your what? Your life shall hang in doubt before thee. Yeah, go ahead. And thou shalt fear day and night. So you shall feel de fear day and night. So if you got pulled over during the daytime, you got pulled over during the nighttime by a police officer, are you still fearing for your life? You do, because your life hangs in, hangs in doubt. Because you could just say, they got asked you for your ID, right? And they say he's reaching. Yes, sir. So who does that apply to? Us too. Now give me Deuteronomy 20 verse 68. Deuteronomy 28 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt Again with shit. Okay, do you know what happened in Egypt? No. With the Israelites? The Hebrews? I don't. You ever seen Prince of Egypt? So, basically... <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool, I'll give you a synopsis real quick. The, the Israelites were slaves to, the, slaves to the Egyptians and Pharaoh, and they had to build the pyramids, right? So, they were slaves in Egypt, right? So, basically, it, Egypt, for us, represents slavery. Because just like... Say like... Uh... I've, I've heard this yeah. before by another group. Another real? group were over here. Yeah. They said the exact same thing y'all are saying. For real? They yeah. was in purple? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All purple, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah, how you see, yeah. man. They beat y'all. They beat us? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, I just cut to the chase, my brother. Give me give me Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 10, verse uh, 12. Come. No, give me First John 5, verse 3. Maybe Since you already kind of know, we're here to just like just add a little bit on it and give you a flyer, too. No problem. No problem. Uh, was they out, were they out here today? No, uh, it was a, a while back. Yeah, they okay, so I heard now you're hearing it twice. Yeah, you're twice, man. <laughs> First John chapter five and verse three. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. So we all, you, you love God, right? Yeah. You want to show you love God? Watch this. This is how you do it. That we keep His commandments, mm -hmm. and His commandments 
are not grievous. So if you want to show you love the most high God, you will read these scriptures and keep his commandments. Where they're found in Genesis through Deuteronomy. You have to keep those to the best of your ability. What, whatever you can keep, you keep. Just like fringes, we do that. Stuff like uh, keeping your beard. Like if you can keep, grow one. Yeah, if you can yeah. grow one. Not everybody can grow one. <laughs> <laughs> I say out there, y'all got one. Yeah. <laughs> not everybody can grow one. Like you got, we got people in our organization who can't grow one, but they don't try to mar what they have. So little stuff like that, we're trying to get our people to try to do. To show that they love the most High God so they have an opportunity to get saved. Cause we're right now in this moment when somebody can just gun you down, somebody can run in your house and kill you, and just say they fear for their life. That's not being saved, my brother. I don't care what the church is saying. So what we need to do is do what the Most High God says, so He will protect us and bring us out of this kingdom and bring us bring us into our kingdom, That's right. so we can be kings and priests. Real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Revelation 22 and 14. Yeah, I want to show you that too. Take that for me. Let me get one more for you go. Revelation 22 and 14, mm -hmm. it says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, mm -hmm. that they may have right to the tree of life, yeah. and may enter in through the gates into the city. So we have to keep these commandments so we have the opportunity to enter into that city, enter into that kingdom, man. Yes, sir. That's what we have to do. Keep going. For without our dogs. For our dogs and other nations. And sorcerers. Sorcerers. And whoremongers. Whoremongers. And murderers. And murderers. And idolaters. So you see all that? All that is contrary to the Most High God, and doing things like that will keep you out. So that's what we're trying to get our people on, man. So you have an opportunity to get saved. Yeah. This is us showing love to you. Yes, sir. Like what these what these people saying, like, oh, I love you, and it's just giving you a hug. That's not love, my brother. Show correcting your brother and, tell, and give me Leviticus. I'm gonna give you one more slot. Or sorry, man. I gotta give you one more because this is what actual love is for your brother. Correcting them when they're going off and and perfecting them. Go ahead. This is Leviticus 19 and 17. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You know what the word rebuke means? You know what it means? What does it mean? It's like keep out. Well, you could, it's, that's like a sub-definition. But the main definition is to correct. You show any wise, read it again, read the whole thing. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke thy neighbor, yeah. And not suffer sin upon him. We're not suffering sin upon you, my brother. We're not going to just allow you to walk around the streets and just, and just say, and just do whatever you want and not tell you that's off according to the Bible. Because we want you to be saved. This isn't even about us. This is about you and all of our other people who don't know. Mm -hmm. That's what we're out here for, man. Keep going. Come. And it says, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. And that's the issue with our people, right? Somebody will step on your shoes, now you got to fight them. We, not, we don't do that with nobody else. Black people don't do that with white people. You don't do that with anybody else except our own people. So we need to start loving our people and correcting them when they go off, man. Yes, so that's sir. the whole purpose of us being out here, man. Yes, sir. Thank Step you. me up, man. Here, yo, sir. Uh, you too. Man. Thank you so much for that. It's all for you, man. Yeah. All praise to the Most High God, man. Two out of two, man. Music. Two out of two. Hopefully we don't fight any demons today. That's at least here. Fun. At least here, man. For yeah, all praises, man. At least somebody. At least it's crazy, bro. DFW is a big place, and we can't we can't get two out of two people to listen to us, man, without being a demon. When you come down to Waco, you get two out of two immediately. People stop and listen, and they will actually hear you out, man. Mm -hmm. This is what this is. This is what we're out here for, man. And look, look over there, right? You got the brothers over there getting somebody right there, man. The ones that we missed. Yeah. This the word is coming out, bro. And there's nothing they can do to stop this. You can't do nothing against the truth. Bro. So with that, let's keep going, man. Let's get that. Right. We got Genesis. We got, uh, we got Genesis. We got Genesis. You got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, and then you got numbers in there, right? So all of them is where you find the laws at. And in those laws, you'll see things that you can't, that you're not supposed to be doing, such as eat pork, right? Y'all eat pork? So yeah, they teach y'all that in the church, that y'all not supposed to eat pork. Y'all not supposed to eat, we're not supposed to eat bacon and stuff like that. It's, it's unclean. The They're not just killing the animals. We can eat certain animals. They're killing we you. We can eat. Yeah, it's killing you. Huh? Can't no pig feet, no bro. <laughs> no, 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 no pig like feet, no chitlin. Fish? You yeah. can eat certain kind of fish. Certain kind of fish. The fish gotta have uh, scales Wait, and fins on. Which one is yours? Hmm? Which one? 
Is that you? This right here, the one that's right there. Then after that, it's just a Five. So we're going to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully wake up y'all. And then through y'all, y'all parents. You know what I'm saying? Receive the information. They can start teaching y'all too. But right now, y'all like her, so we're going to tell y'all. So we ain't supposed to eat pork because it's unclean. According to the Bible, it's unclean. Right? It's a filthy animal. He don't he don't sweat, you know what I mean? He don't have no pores of sweat. Everything he eat, he go inside of him. He eat he eat everything. You can feed a pig a person and he'll eat it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they they nasty. They have they, they got they got like worms and stuff all in the meat. Y'all ain't seen the video, you, brother? Yeah. yeah. You they, be, get it for you? they be having worms and stuff in their meat. Yeah. Alright. They have worms and stuff, all kind of stuff in their meat, so we're not supposed to eat that being children of the most high God. Other people can eat it. I mean, other nations, but the nation of Israel, we can't eat it. That's one of the commandments. So doing stuff like that this is that you not sinning. Yeah, this is right there. Make sure y'all show it to your dad. <laughs> yeah, show it to your mom's dad, uncle, famous, whoever, friends, friends. Yeah. Show it to everybody. Pets. Granny too. Everybody. Yeah. Y'all y'all see this right here? Yeah. What's what what what's the first thing coming to y'all head when y'all see this? The robe of Jesus. Hey, yeah. that's a good answer. Yeah. That's a good answer right there. Because we was commanded to wear these throughout all our generations. So forever and forever we were supposed to wear this to remind us about the law. To remind us that we're Israel. To remind us that God gave us a, a covenant. I'm an Israelite, I'm royal, yeah. I'm a princess, I'm a prince, a king, you know what I'm So this, this, this is a reminder that you know, hey, I'm royalty on earth, because so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, we, we, we are royal nation, but they treat us like what? Like trash, you see how people get gunned down in the streets? Just for reaching for their ideas, something. How they be snotted, how they, how they yeah. treat our little, how they treat our little ones. Yeah. Disrespect the little ones all of the school. They be mad if y'all go to school with a certain kind of hair type. Yeah. Me, that's how I hurt. They do that at your school? Yeah. <laughs> for real? They do it. Yeah, we got one. See, that, that don't make no sense. Right. <laughs> so they don't let you wear what you want. They don't let us. Don't let us wear our hair dyed, our real hair dyed. Don't let us wear color braids. Unless y'all should be able to wear y'all natural hair, however y'all want to. Y'all want to go to with an afro, a big afro, you should be able to do that. That's your natural hair. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to school with a big afro, you'll be like, she's in the way and you have to move out. And if our shorts go like right here, if our shorts go right here, they're going to make this change. That's why I have shorts, like yeah, yeah, I kind of That's why you have it like that? Nah. So if you wear like, if you got a big afro, they say what? That's crazy. That, that right there, that's showing you how they disrespect the children of Israel. Just in our nature, in our natural we gotta wear certain Y'all know, y'all know uh, Jesus had wounded hair like that too. So that was Jesus. When he was a little kid, they would tell him to move to the back of the class. Yeah, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. We don't want to hold y'all up. We just let y'all know y'all the true children of God. In order to get to the kingdom, get the kingdom, get our our uh, righteousness established back on earth. Our right, 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 land, be the rulers, because you know, so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, the Israelites, they are the rulers on earth. They're above all people, all other people. We are the special people. We are the chosen people. But God requires something of us. He's not gonna give us what we want if we're not listening to them. Just like your parents, you want that new iPhone, you want the iPhone 11, right? I'm gonna tell you, hey, I need you to get good grades. I need you to keep your room clean. I need you to do that, blah, blah, blah. God dies the same way. So he needs you to do what he asks, and then he'll give you everything you want. He ain't gonna give you nothing you want if you're not listening, son. So you gotta you gotta start listening to God. You know what I'm saying? Where you find um, his commandments, what he requires of you, you find it in, in the Bible, in the King James Bible, the first five books, right? So. You're, you're a pretty good reader. All right, yeah. So just just start. Even if even if your parents don't really want to read it to you or whatnot, just pray and read it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the Most High will give you the understanding you need if you're sincere and really trying to seek Him and keep His laws and commandments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if even if your parents don't try to do, it, they try to tell you, you know. You yeah. don't know about it. You still for you yourself yeah. and your, your your little brother. If you and really, sisters, if you, you really. 
really love God, you really want that kingdom. You really want to be that special people. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to be above all people. If you really want to be royal, you're a princess. You know? I remember the time, the first time I had God, forgot my God. It was last year yeah. in February. February 14th for Valentine's Day at church. Mm -hmm. And we were all praying in the circle. And we were all saying the things that happened in the past. We we're going to move on. And let's ask God to forgive us. Mm -hmm. And when we pass away, let's, let's hope God takes us to heaven. I'm going to show you something real quick because in church they teach you this concept of hell, right? But it's really no place called hell. So when everyone dies, they go back to, to God, right? So when, when you go back to God, then he judges you, right? But he's going to send you back to earth for your judgment. So that's where you're going to live, and you're going to live out your judgment on earth. That's why you see certain people that go through plagues and stuff in a lifetime. So some people be young and they'll catch cancer. That was a judgment, you know what I'm saying? That they got and passed away, came back, and they ain't living out the judgment. So you got certain things, certain people, you know what I'm saying? They have certain ailments. They go through certain things in life just because there was their judgment that the most I put it, put it on. You want to get a please answer? Yeah, I was going to do it. Yeah, so like he was saying, there's no such, it's not a place underground with a guy with a pitchfork and some horns and that little red tail as they, as they drawn. You know the grind. This, this not, this not real. That's made up. That's, that's Greek. That's that Greek mythology. That's that. Uh, what's the, what they call Roman it? Catholic Church. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's Stay away from them. Yeah, yeah. They bad people. Yeah. This is um. This is what he was talking about. Um, it's Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse seven. It says, "Then shall the dust return to the earth mm -hmm. as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it." We return to the ground. We're gonna go back. Our, our flesh body is gonna go back with the spirit and go back up to the to the most high. Yeah. That's that's what everybody is. Even with even with the uh, so-called bad people, they all go back up there. And they get their judgment. So ain't no such thing as you going to, you know what I'm saying, you going underground yeah. and burning forever. Because we right now, us as a people, we in hell right now. Yeah. Like, like we were just explaining, like you know yeah, about, yeah, that's right. How we in this unfair condition? We in hell right now. In order to get to heaven, to get the kingdom back, we got to come back to our God. He's our God. He's no one else's God. And that's that's why we're going through so much because we disobey him. Mm -hmm. We don't listen to him. Get him, uh, Joel too. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be pulling him. He's saying he our God. Nobody is. So so called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. Like I'm native, right? You know what I'm saying? But I look just like y'all. So we all come in different shades, different looks, you know what I'm saying? Maybe something even, even the different uh, phenotypes, same thing with looks though. But he's still just our God. He's not God of uh, the the white people in the Bible they call Edomites. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to go too deep. <laughs> but the white the, the white people in the Bible they call Edomites. God hate them. They they, they tell y'all God hating y'all church. He just say God, God love everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll work with, we'll well, I'm going to show you that God is Israel's God, and that's it, right? This is Joel chapter 2, verse 27. It says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Mm -hmm. To be in the midst of something is to be in the middle of it, right? To be around it, right? Say, I'm in the midst of y'all right now. I'm around y'all, right? Say, I'm in the midst of Israel. That's what we're explaining to y'all, the Israelites, right? And that I am the Lord your God. This possession is right there. I'm the Lord. I'm in the midst of Israel, and I'm your God. That's all possession. Go ahead. I am the Lord, your God, and none else. None else. And my people should never be ashamed. You shouldn't be ashamed that about about your God. You should you should have no fear on doing what He required. Like us wearing this, we're not ashamed to to wear this, even though somebody might like, like what 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 is that? They got on. Man, they, they look weird. They look funny or whatever. We're not ashamed of nothing. We're not ashamed of our God. So we're gonna do everything He required of required of us, and not worry about what the world thinks. You know what I'm saying? That's how. That's how you gotta be. You can't worry about the world because you are trying to save you. Don't worry about what your friend doing and what they doing, because you are gonna always meet people that 
it's going to be different from you regardless, right? So don't be scared to be set apart because God chose you to be set apart. He chose you to be different. That's what holy means. Yeah. Holy means. You know what holy means? Holy means to be set apart. We are a holy, holy nation. Priests, peculiar people. He set us apart from all these other nations. He made all these other nations. He set us apart. You know what I'm saying? It's his, it's his chosen people. I'm going to read it for you in the Bible. It says, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. It says, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thou God. The Lord thou God has chosen thee to be a special people um, um, sorry, unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You read that's Deuteronomy, it. that's talking about the nation of Israel. Yeah, so, so we, above, ahead, right. we above, we above every, everybody, every other nation. If they outside the nation of Israel, if they outside so-called black, Hispanics, and natives, most likely they not, they not, you know what I'm saying, they not an Israelite. You know what I mean? The Edomite, Moabite, Ammonite, what else is it? Ishmaelites. Hamites. Hamites. Hamites, they look just like us. They, they're so-called, some of the so-called Africans, some some of the Africans are us too. But some, some of the so-called Africans, they they actually Hamites. Yeah, like like you right now. You got any Africans at your school? Uh, you run across them? Yeah. Yeah, but you could, you could clearly tell the difference between y'all, huh? You're like, nah, I'm not them people. I'm, I'm different from them. That's your spirit. Everything you got a different. the same in my school. Uh, you got a very diverse school. Um, yeah. I have a Mexican, white, well, not that much blacks. Not that like many. 5% black. Oh. And then, like, so they really so treat y'all different. It's like Mexican, it's mostly Mexicans and whites. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, so most, some, some of the Mexicans, it's probably actually Israelites. So yeah. all y'all, we don't, we don't know what y'all saying, because they destroyed our nation. And it destroyed our, men our mentally, our, our mental to where we divide it so much that we look at Mexican and be like, well, he not our people, and they look at us the same way. And then we divide it, we actually be the same. And then y'all came together in that school, like it's mostly Mexicans in there, and then a little, little percent people that they label as black came together, y'all outnumber the other nation, the other nation would be the Edomites. They outnumber. So that's why they don't want you to come together like that, because there's going to be too much power in there. Y'all got any questions? Alright, we don't want to flood y'all with all this knowledge, you know what I'm saying? But uh, check out, he already pulled up on YouTube. You know what I think you're looking at that, ain't That's what you're looking at, you're looking at something else. You're looking at Fortnite? Looking at what you watching, little man? Uh, but yeah, man, we'll just let y'all know y'all special, man. Y'all the chosen people of God. You gotta come back to our God and stop following the world. Cause the world gonna lead us astray. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna keep us in this situation. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna grow up and still have to go through hell. Still have to worry about police pulling you over for no reason or having to worry about how I'm gonna pay rent or all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna grow up and have to live like that. You want, you want your kingdom. You wanna be able to sit back and, and be the royal people that God chose you to be, right? So, you know, that's basically what we are here teaching that. Come back to your God. You know what I'm saying? His name, which his name is Yahweh. Right? That's the real name of God. His son's name is Yahweh Shah. I know they tell y'all his name is Jesus, but his real name is Yahweh Shah. And that's in the Paleo uh, Hebrew. Because we didn't speak English at that time. So, his name couldn't come down from Jesus. So, his name is Yahweh Shah. But uh, with that, you know what I'm saying? I just want to say, man, y'all, y'all really take heed to this knowledge that we are you telling y'all don't just oh man it's not fun to talk to that, yeah, you know that hey really check it out you know what I'm saying see, see what you think you know what I'm saying and if if, if God has to let you to be a part of the chosen we're gonna we're gonna take heed to this knowledge yeah. no matter how young you are yeah regardless it ain't about the age thing the young helped me a lot in my life I went never went went through a lot of hell that I went through because I was doing dumb things you know so like I don't want really to get into it I was going foolish stuff that I had no business doing. But now I'm on the right path, I'm following God, and I'm, I'm living a better life. That's what, so by us telling you this knowledge at a young age, you got the opportunity to not have to go through all that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna um, get back, because we want to talk to as many people as we can today. So y'all check out that fire, you got the YouTube. Hey man, whenever you get time, just sit down and watch the videos, you know what I'm saying? Check it out. Show you, show me, show your mom and stuff too. Yeah, I, I know how parents are, but yeah. you know, 
try to get them to look at it. You know, if they don't, you still look at it. Y'all right. be safe, man. All right.